ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sounds of the Valley. I'm your host, Nathan Blazer. Tonight we have a very special guest, uh, Matt Hawkins. He's going to be playing some songs for you tonight. Uh, so I'll let Matt take it away, and we'll hear back from me at our uh, little interview section. So go right ahead, Matt. Thank you. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you all. It's nice to be playing for you tonight. I'm going to play some songs old and new tonight. Hope you enjoy them.
Making a smile gets kinda old You and me both are getting too old We never knew Exactly what was wrong Hi everyone, welcome to the interview portion of Sounds of the Valley. I'm here with Matt Hawkins, our wonderful guest for tonight. How are you doing, Matt? Doing awesome, Nathan, thanks. That's good to hear. Glad to have you on tonight. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna ask you some couple questions just a bit to let uh, our audience know just about like who you are. So uh, I'll get right underway here. So. Uh, how long have you uh, been a musician slash like just been learning music? Uh, yeah, I started picking up a guitar and making my own songs. That was really how I learned and that was around my 14th birthday at the end of eighth grade. Nice. So that's been, uh, in case anyone doesn't know, I'm 38. I'm older than I look, so it's been a while. <laughs> that's fair. I actually started picking up guitar around the same time, so that's awesome. I think it's just a really great age to get into it, you know? Was well, for me. Yeah. Uh, so, you showed us a lot of really cool music, I think. I really like all like the different chords, and before the show we've been talking a bit about how you use like some Latin jazz influences. Uh, I know this is going to be a uh, tough question to ask, but, or a tough question to answer, but what is like your favorite song that you've written? Oh geez, uh, my favorite song that I've ever written? Uh, it would probably be a song called Bleeding All Over the Page. Yeah. I didn't play that tonight, but the reason I like that song from my album Rough Diamond is because, and I have an acoustic version, it sounds different, mm -hmm. is because the chords have kind of a droning sound, but it creates a harmonious feeling for me that uh, is healing for me. Nice. That sounds really cool. I'll have to definitely check it out. Uh, what would you say really, like, either drives your creative process or just gives you inspiration? Uh, I'm mildly autistic and sometimes I just play the same chords for like 20 hours in like over the course of two weeks I might play one chord progression for 20 hours and I can't help it so it's really I'm driven to do this I don't know why it's healing for me and uh, I don't use music theory I just figure out the songs by ear and I memorize where to play I, don't, I can't even tell you the chord for most of my songs. I can figure it out, you know, over time, look at it, figure it out, but I mostly just learn how to play it and memorize it, and nice. it's for my own healing. That's awesome. I, I uh, myself, am at like a uh, music education major, and I'm a really big believer that like theory is really just like names that we put onto all the stuff that our hear, ears already hear, you know? There's other stuff that uh, we, you can't classify. Mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's, we can describe it with talking about semitones or whatever you want to talk about, but you know. My, my friend Ditchweed says, you know, you try and put Hendrix solos into, you know, Ledger, it's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah. There's a whole lot of music in between what's on the page. Definitely, I definitely agree with you there. Uh, so, 
Uh, why is it that you would say that music really matters to you? What is it that, I, I guess you kind of mentioned that it was healing. What is it about music that you think is so healing for you? It's the feeling of getting a win. When I make some chord progressions that sound harmonious, when I create chords that sound pleasing to my ear, I feel like a winner for once. I usually feel like a loser. I'm one of those people that just, I don't have the bank account, I don't have the friends and connections and uh, all the other stuff that people think is cool, but when I'm playing my guitar, I feel like a winner. Also piano, too. Oh, really? How long have you been doing uh, piano? Uh, I hopped on the piano for the first time around 18, mm -hmm. and uh, I do play. I, released a collection of improvisations last summer and stuff. Oh, nice. It sounds kind of like Keith Jarrett. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like to interpret time with more freedom. Um, I don't know why I'm drawn to that. I just am. I, I was a big, I was influenced heavily by Chopin. Mm -hmm. When I first started hearing Chopin's music, I was really impressed by how um, he was able to create phrases that um, had a lot of oomph. And he did that through a freer interpretation of the time. That's really interesting. Uh, so have you been uh, involved in like any other projects or are you primarily like a solo artist? Well, I've been trying to find the right thing to do and for now, what I do with my guitar, that's a baritone guitar by the way that I play now. I've switched over to that and I play in a lower key, mm -hmm. which suits my voice, but um, really I've been searching for the actual act that I can sell, you know, and get out there and play with. And I think this is going to be it for the time being. I want to play an electric guitar with a drummer, and I'm, it may become a two-piece thing, I think, on an electric baritone guitar with drums. But other stuff I've dabbled with is a lot of rapping, and uh, I can get on a song and sing a hook, or I can make music in my computer that sounds more like pop or hip-hop also. And I enjoy that quite a bit, but it's a little bit backburnered right now. Mm, that's fair. Uh, one last question for you. Uh, where can people uh, find like you and your music? And is there anything that you're going to be putting out like uh, soon that you'd like to plug? Yeah, I'm performing at Brick House on uh, uh, October 14th. So I'll just be playing in the bar area at 7. Um, you can find my music on Spotify by searching Wildcat Hawkins. So uh, I'm at a stage now where I, I'm going to be calling myself Matt Hawkins more and more, uh, kind of like Mellencamp, I guess, where, uh, you know, in the early days I was usually listed as Wildcat Hawkins. Uh, sometimes I blow up at people really bad out of nowhere, so that's partly why they call me that, but I try to be kind and friendly, but it's tough. Um, mm -hmm. They uh, call me that, but I'm... Yeah, you can find me on YouTube, Wildcat Hawkins YouTube. Awesome. And subscribe if you want to get the new stuff I put up. That'd be great. I appreciate each of you very much. Awesome. Well, that is our uh, interview segment. Thank you so much for coming on. I look Thank forward you, to the, uh, hearing the rest of the performance. Thank you so much.
pick a fight at any chance Drink till I'm dead or tear my pants I know you have a way with words I know you're self-assured She was a beautiful disaster Vincent Van Gogh at the bottom of a vodka bottle Talk slow but she moved full throttle Saying, did you ever think that Jesus Christ maybe was more than just a man And how you'd fit into his plan Ever wish that you could count each single star and then fly into infinity in a brand new fancy car? I said, Hey, where do I go to fall? Right into the Savior's arms. to the lover's charms It was a long time coming Trunk change in the back room parlor dealing Went home with the strangest feelings and Did you ever open up your heart Someone else only to find that people steal. Did you ever hold on to a feeling far too long? Oh, where do I go? Fall right into the Savior's arms. to the lover's charms
Trust in you was a mistake But it's one I'm glad I made I can't play for these fools I'm for the ones you hate Trust in you was a mistake But it's one I'm glad I made just the price I pay. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to say. Come back home Come back home I can't even win the fight I can't even get it right Come back home Come back home I can't even win the fight I can't even get it right Come back home That was a really awesome performance, man. Thank you so much for coming on to Sounds of the Valley. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Well, that was our episode of Sounds of the Valley tonight. You can catch us uh, at mytv10.uwbc.edu uh, along with all of our other uh, own original content. So we'll see you there and have a good night, everyone. <laughs>